Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at these HD camera Bluetooth sunglasses by Jigeo. Now they were nice enough to send me these for free so I can make a video showing them to you. Now I just picked these up, got to play with them a little bit yesterday, but they are really pretty cool. I've had similar sunglasses that had a camera built into them years ago. And this really blows them out of the water. I bought it mostly for the camera feature for doing videos. The Bluetooth was just a little bonus, but I already tested the Bluetooth, connected to my phone. It was super easy. And I was impressed because it comes with the earbuds that plug into the earpieces of the sunglasses. You also get the case. Now, my case, the zipper's already kind of messed up, missing some teeth there, so not the best case in the world. I wouldn't buy it for that. You also get a little lens cleaning cloth and you get some instructions on how to do everything. And one thing I like about this is it has graphics I'll show you on how to run everything. But the instructions are actually pretty good. Sometimes you get these things and you can't even understand them. But we got a lot of pictures and arrows and text. And it all wor works out pretty good. So here you have the lens right in the middle there. And the sides look the same, however one is just kind of a dummy side that doesn't do anything and the other side actually controls everything. And if you look on the inside of the earpieces, you can see all the controls. So you have volume down and back, volume up and um, next for playing music and that's just toggling that either side. You have the power, which is the middle button here. Also to connect for Bluetooth, you press and hold that and the light will start blinking on the inside. On the bottom, you have the power button. You have a slot for an S micro SD card. It goes up to 32 gigabytes. And then this is your charge port. It also functions as the earbud plug in for this side and the earplug plug in for that side or earbud plug in for the other side. The micro SD card is not included, but like I said, holds up to a 32 gigabyte and you just stick it in like that and you're all ready to go. This bottom button is for the camera. So when you press and hold, you can see the little red light there turning on, turns to blue. Now a single tap will just take a picture. Now if I press and hold, you saw it do the three blinks and then it'll continuously blink as long as we are recording video. I'm going to record some video outside because I think that's your most logical use for this with them being sunglasses. So just tap again to stop. And you can see we're in standby mode basically for the camera. If you press and hold, now we're turning the camera off. Also, when you are charging the sunglasses, that same indication light will blink and then it'll go solid once they are fully charged. When you have the earbuds plugged in and you turn it on and off, it'll give you voice prompts. I'm going to try and use my external microphone I'm using right now and hold it up to the earbud to show you. I actually changed the Bluetooth connection to my desktop. You know, showing earbuds is so difficult because everything's copyrighted. So I'm going to play a clip of one of my videos just so you can see that the audio is pretty good. Now, it's a little rudimentary way of doing this, but better than nothing. These JDM spark plug wires I picked up on Amazon. We're going to put them on the 73 Corvette. Now, that Corvette we added an HEI distributor to, so these wires are good for HEI distributors. I know it's not a perfect representation, but they do work and they sounded pretty good. They sounded better than I expected, especially because I was mostly buying it for the camera. So, let's go outside and record some clips with the camera. From here on out, everything you see is going to be from video directly from these glasses here. Good boys. How you doing, bud? So from this point forward, the audio and video 
both coming from the sunglasses. Now it records clips in 10 minute segments, creates an AVI video file. Come on, bud. The grass won't hurt you. It don't bite. Good boy. Alright, we're going to give these things a shot. From what I've learned, the first couple of attempts is I get about a minute 30 seconds before it stops working. Hey, Amazon Prime's on its way here. So, I've tried a few different SD cards, micro SD cards, and every time, about a minute 30 seconds, the video just stops. I can't play it on VLC player, Windows Media Player, Windows Movie Maker, nothing. It creates an AVI, AVI file that just stops. So Bluetooth has worked perfectly and playing music has worked perfectly but the camera itself not working so well. Hey, how's it going? Alright. 